Hello and welcome to The Daily Bread, an aid to your spiritual growth. Today we are going to talk about something that I myself is working on. I find it strange, fascinating and frightening that something that seems so simple, as being quiet and listen more is so difficult. What does that say about our ability to control ourselves? With that little call for reflection, let's get into it. Talking less and listening more is a valuable skill that can greatly benefit us in our daily interactions and relationships. From a spiritual and religious perspective, listening is considered an essential practice that helps us connect with others, cultivate empathy, and deepen our understanding of the divine. In this essay, we will explore the importance of listening in various spiritual traditions and offer practical tips on how to talk less and listen more. In Christianity, listening is often associated with prayer and contemplation. The Bible teaches that God speaks to us through various means, such as the Holy Spirit, scriptures, and other people. To hear God's voice, we need to cultivate a receptive heart and a quiet mind. This involves being still and attentive, and tuning out distractions and noise. The Apostle James exhorts believers to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, James 1 verse 19, emphasizing the importance of listening as a way of avoiding conflicts and building healthy relationships. Similarly, in Buddhism, listening is a central practice in the cultivation of mindfulness and compassion. The Buddha taught that attentive listening is a way of showing respect and loving-kindness to others and that it can help us overcome our egocentric tendencies and develop a deeper sense of interconnectedness. The Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh writes, To listen deeply is to connect with others, to share their joys and sufferings, to empathize with their needs and aspirations, and to offer them our presence and understanding. In Hinduism, listening is considered a sacred act that can lead to spiritual transformation. The Upanishads, ancient texts that form the foundation of Hindu philosophy, teach that the ultimate reality can only be realized through direct experience, which requires a receptive mind and a teacher who can guide us on the path. The process of listening to the teachings is the first step in this journey, and it involves not just hearing the words, but internalizing them and living them out in daily life. From a practical perspective, there are many benefits to talking less and listening more. By listening attentively, we can gain new insights, learn from others, and build stronger relationships. We can also reduce misunderstandings and conflicts, and create a more peaceful and harmonious environment. Here are some tips on how to cultivate better listening skills. 1. Be present. When you are listening to someone, give them your full attention. Put away distractions such as phones or other electronic devices, and try to be fully present in the moment. 2. Show empathy. Try to put yourself in the other person's shoes and understand their perspective. This involves not just listening to their words, but also paying attention to their body language, tone of voice, and emotions. 3. Ask open-ended questions. To encourage deeper dialogue, ask open-ended questions that allow the other person to share more about their thoughts and feelings. Avoid asking leading questions or jumping to conclusions. 4. Practice active listening. Active listening involves repeating back what the other person said in your own words, to ensure that you understood them correctly. This shows that you are truly listening and can help prevent misunderstandings. 5. Avoid interrupting. When someone is speaking, resist the urge to interrupt or interject with your own opinions or experiences. Wait until they have finished speaking before offering your own thoughts. In conclusion, listening is an essential practice that can deepen our relationships, foster empathy, and bring us closer to the divine. By talking less and listening more, we can learn from others, build stronger connections, and cultivate a more peaceful and harmonious world. Whether you draw on spiritual teachings or practical tips, the key is to approach listening as a sacred act that requires our full attention and presence. That's it for today. If you want to read more about our journey, our discoveries along the way and the observations that we've made about the world, spirituality, Christianity and the human condition, please visit our blog. If you want to support our channel, you are welcome to buy an item from one of our shops. You will find links to all of this in the comment section and in the description. Also, please like, subscribe, comment and share the video. And hit the notification bell, so that YouTube notifies you of new videos. Thank you for your time.